Greetings and welcome to Die Dragon Die Presents Flotsam and Jetsam Season 1 Episode 8. I am your host, but not the DM. That responsibility is in Adam's strong wheelchair capable hands. I can I can push it. You can push it. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, we were talking earlier about Ad- Adam feeling weird about not controlling his own wheelchair when he broke his ankle. Oh yeah, people and... people asking about like what's the worst part about like breaking your ankle and being in bed for a few months. And it's like random very very nice women either grandmas or whatever pushing you in a wheelchair and and you're not allowed to do the wheelchair yourself that's the worst <laughs> tiny little people people that one third my size pushing me in a wheelchair and feeling like a burden that's the worst <laughs> yeah yeah fox uh ahmed and mark here ahmed is being attacked by children and mark is being attacked by molten metal so yeah mark Mark's working this weekend, uh, and Ahmed, I think, his wife is out of town, so he's got the three kids, and I think yep. that is uh, Ahmed daycare right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, one of them is currently punching him in the groin as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, uh, knowing, knowing Ahmed, he's probably set up some sort of fort with cushions, and they're watching a movie they really shouldn't be watching. They're watching, like, Predator or Alien or something. <laughs> Playing some video game. Well, it's 9 o'clock there, so they probably put the youngest to bed, and he's up with the two older boys playing, and, playing and, a violent and, video game or something. They're, they're, play, they're playing, like, zombie mode or Nazi zombies in, uh, you know, Call of Duty or something. <laughs> yep. They've got two... <laughs> when the boys got their own PlayStation 5... <laughs> Jeez, I don't even know PlayStation 5. <laughs> Ahmed has two of them. <laughs> Dude, oh, yeah, Legends was a long time ago. Um, it was shortly before my last job change, and yeah, that's it's been a it's been it's been a while. I, I was think I was what was I? I forget. I, every once in a while, I'll think back to Legends and think about some of the situations there. And, uh... Uh, my nephews are going over; they're watching Legends right now, and every once in a while, I get a text from the older <laughs> nephew who gets access to the cell phone, yep. who has his own cell phone, who's finally old enough that you know he's you know. 15 um and every once in a while i get a text of like you guys are having to do whatever D D yada yada that was fat uncle adam <laughs> it's like yes that was, that was we're gonna put an er in there that was fat hair uncle adam. <laughs> you had so much hair yes i did <laughs> yeah all, all of our beards and bodies were much different seven years ago <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um Ark certainly is able to pack away the food. We'll, we'll just leave that there. <laughs> uh, I think all of, our, all of us have changed. Age is, age is yep. a, a time is a bitch. Uh, and <laughs> nope. Takes no prisoners. <laughs> it does not. Uh, all right. Uh, let's do a recap of what happened last game. Last game, uh, False Savior. Aboard the Promise, Ganzorig and Karen reminisce over their battles with the orcs. While in search of Ganzorig's father, including a daytime attack on the Mesa Lair and a nighttime skirmish, they also recall how they were saved and later sold to pirates. <laughs> and I think that's the it was it was a great the both fights were great. Uh, um, I realize I made a mistake. Uh, the horn bow has a less um, uh, range than longbows. It's eighty feet, not one hundred and ten feet. Okay, so that's yep. something I I screwed up. Um, well, I was using the same rule for. They were firing a hornbow back at you using the same rules. It was even. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I just want to acknowledge that when I looked at it later, I'm like, oh, I should have been much closer. That's fine. Um, uh, and everyone has. Uh, all the characters have been leveled up to level four offline because I think uh, we got enough XP during the, uh, backstories, uh, yeah. Adam might have been, uh, negligent, and, uh, some of, uh, Grimsby, yeah, there's some Grimsby choices that need to be made. Uh, Karen oh. has been updated, uh, he didn't have too many choices at fourth, um, I just picked a couple of spells for him to prepare, he chooses from the, uh, from the cleric list as a war priest, and then you need to pick two second level bard spells for Grimsby. I, I, don't, I don't know what your um... what the selection will be. Um, 
Yeah, like, and he doesn't get an extra necromancy spell from Dirge Bard until sixth level. So it's just too standard. Like mirror image might be a good one. Uh, glibness. Um, what are other good second level bard spells? Anyways, you can yeah, well, you can pick them. <sighs> I think glibness is third. Oh, um, is it third? Okay. I think it is. The I auto win all the bluff checks. Mm -hmm. I think they delay that until like sixth level. <laughs> We could be wrong. Uh, uh, all right. I think you're right. All right. Your time at sea. Uh, several days have passed since you've transferred over to the 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 uh, the, the, uh, the the promise. Sorry, the deck of the promise. Promises deck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, aboard this ship, um, Mr. Potts, um, as well as Mulgrimir, um do take shifts leading this crew. Um, he is relatively stern. Uh, he has given Ganzorig an arrow, uh, as Ganzorig has urgently requested his bow back. His bow and his arrows, so he received an arrow. <laughs> if I remember correctly, he rolled a natural one on that diplomacy check. <laughs> yeah, there were some bad rolls, including... <laughs> I, I don't recall the surgery on Black Dog's leg going very that well was, either. That, that was, was an also... 18. That was an 18, I think, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, several days have passed. Uh, Black Dog, your leg hurts. Everything's woozy. You're not certain where your sword is. Okay, well, that that is his major concern. Uh, how much does Black Dog remember of Lee Hida helping him? Uh, give me a int or wisdom check. <laughs> I think it's the same score. <laughs> <laughs> give me your d20 hey, roll. D20 roll. 10 and 10. He is average over. <laughs> 11. There's a familiarity to Lee Hida, although you were pretty convinced um, that... And give me one second. That Lee was one of my brothers? Yes. I'm, I'm basically trying to, to grab his name. You were pretty convinced that uh, Lee was like Boli. Like you were you were convinced that it was Boli who was helping you out. Is Black Dog awake now? Uh, Black Dog is now awake. You're not Boli. Uh, I don't know. You've called me that a couple of times. I... I corrected you every single time. I'm Lee Heater. Where? Where are we? We're aboard the Promise. And we've been sold to pirates. Oh. Where's my sword? Um. <laughs> As Lee see him? We carried him in on the sword. It's kind of hard to miss. So... Give, uh, does Lee have all martial weapon proficiency? Uh, Lee, by being a barbarian hurler, has martial weapon proficiency. Should have martial weapon proficiency? Yes. Okay. Lee knows that you... Simple that... martial bomb, monk, unarmed, all thrown weapons, improvised melee, improvised thrown. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yes. You do know that he was carried in on a sword. The sword was basically modified to also be a stretcher. Um... They, like, strap some stuff to it, but you do know that that stretcher was, was indeed Black Dog's sword. Um, uh, that sword talking, is, is in storage on the boat. You're talking about the giant sword. It's my temple. Uh, okay. <laughs> Lee's now checking to see if he's got a fever, because <laughs> the, the words aren't quite... <laughs> that, didn't, that didn't quite make sense. Yeah, there's, there's eventually an annoyed slap from Black Dog to move Lee Hida's hand. However, Lee Hida is much stronger than Black Dog at 27 strength versus 20? I think they both have powerful build. 21, <laughs> they both have powerful build, so it's <laughs> the hand isn't moving and then Black Dog just probably in too much pain to fight. Well, you should probably lay down and keep off your leg. I want to have a look around. Hey, uh, Karen is is making rounds. Um, he he has uh, like the daily grog ration that he's basically in a big barrel that he's sort of doling out. 
Uh, he, he's awake. We should let. Who's on? Who's in charge right now? The first mate or or the captain? I am going to roll a d2 <clears throat> behind the screen, and I'm going to say it's the captain because Mark's not here. <laughs> okay. We should tell the captain. Hey, how you doing there, fella? Who are you? Uh, I'm Karen the Skyman. Fell from the sky. Hmm. Uh, here. <laughs> There's a dubious look, like a grumpy look from, from Black Dog. He doesn't believe. He doesn't I, believe you. <laughs> I don't make the rules. I don't tell the stories. I just fulfill such he's like look he's like is there a crutch or something that can help black dog stand because he's like balancing on one leg at this point in time okay. uh yeah uh, uh, uh corinne will grab you like a, a staff uh, to help you balance uh to to work with okay uh, so uh didn't quite get your name it was something dog right it was really hard to hear. He, you see, Karen giving a dirty look to the to a chest that's just yep. beside beside you. Uh, I, I think they call him Black Dog. Isn't isn't that correct? Yeah. I thought that was some sort of war name, or is that just the name? He he gives you a look like there is no difference. Like like there's, 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 he's not trying to hide it. It's just it, yep. it is. <laughs> All right then. Uh, did, so, did, you, did you touch Black Dog? <laughs> uh, where he's handing him a, oh, a okay. mug. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Black Dog's not interested if it's alcohol. He just passes it back. Uh, <laughs> See, <he> all right. <laughs> Asking me. Are we prisoners here? We aren't shackled. And freedom will persist. Uh, we've been pressed into the crew. Oh. We're prisoners. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> um, Where's my sword? He's asking Cred. Uh... <laughs> He's going to make a wisdom check because he didn't actually get to see Black Dog come in on a stretcher. He was in a fucking box. <laughs> this is one of those, like, this is a... Uh... Crane is also pressed into the crew. There's quite a few of us, actually. Let's make a record revolution. <laughs> Lee, will ta- Lee, will ta- Lee will take Black Dog's sh- share of the booze and just, and just down nope, it. They just... Uh... Twenty. Uh, are we talking about swords or sword-like objects worthy of cord? It looks like a giant sword. He was carried in on it. I, yeah, I've seen that one. Very large plank. It's looks like cord sword. Uh, is yeah. it a? It's my sword. It's my temple. Um, I don't know. My... I... Hmm. He has a giant sword that man can't wield. I would say it's an holy artifact. That works for me. <laughs> Karen is like shrugging. Sure, it's a holy artifact. Oh, it can be wielded. Yeah, by a, a cloud giant, maybe? Give it to me and I'll show you how. We should probably talk to the captain first. <laughs> Where's uh, the captain? <laughs> He's now looking around. Okay. Uh, uh, the captain is upstairs. Uh, let me get Mr. Pulse. Uh, he is out on the deck. There's some pirates up there. Well, that's the top deck? Uh, okay. Yes, because there's a bunch of beds here. Yep. And so, and that's, the, the cargo is down here. So you, the, you think the sword is down here somewhere in storage. Um, okay, there's some crew. All right, well, Black Dog, uh, he's asking what the captain yeah, Karen will help, uh, you know, it's like, sure, you want to, sure, I'm uh, doing the rounds anyway. 
Um, Grok is going to follow. Um, he's got a stern, a stern gaze. Um, Who are you? Just, are you Pots? Uh, Grok. Just making certain we're all copacetic. <laughs> he's got a, like, you immediately recognize a, a human with ill intent. Yep. Or a, a humanoid who is, you know. Ha- You're one of the captains. to violent tendencies. You're one of the captain's men. Uh, just make. Just making certain everybody understands discipline. Lacta doesn't have any problems with that. Growing up in a very strict monastery, it's actually a, like almost reassuring. Okay, you guys make your way up the stairs. He, he chews on that for a moment. Genzorig! Hey, the big guy's up. Kind of, kind of wobbly though. Uh, let's have an acrobatics check. Uh, there is a penalty, but it's just wrapped into the DC. Oh, this is from Black Dog? This is specifically from Black Dog going upstairs. Adam uh, might know how hard this is. <laughs> is, he wearing, is he wearing his armor or not? No, he's not currently wearing okay. armor. All of our weapons and armor are gone. Okay, so the no ACP penalty. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, 19? 19? Okay, uh, yeah, you, you do sort of praying your side against the stairwell on the way up. It does cause some like wincing pain, um, but you you make your way up the stairs and there's no like tripping or falling. Um, you're aboard of the ship. But you're aboard a ship. There is like the sea air in your face. Um, the wind is is rushing. Your eyes are like burning with this bright light. Call it the sun. I haven't seen it in quite some time. Black Dog's gonna look around like at the horizon. Is land anywhere visible, or are we at sea? <laughs> Uh, give me a perception check. Sure. Just to, as like your eyes sort of um, gain focus in the bright light. 23. 23? Yeah, you don't. It's, you're not. <laughs> you don't see land. Not the place for the mutiny. Okay. <laughs> or, or the escape attempt. Got it. <laughs> also, we don't know where my sword is. So that's step one. <laughs> oh, oh, look. Look what we got here. Sleeping Beauty's finally woken up. Uh, a very a large man who looks like he does indulge in food a little much and whose jacket is well fitted 20 pounds ago uh, makes his way over. He's got a stern look on his face. Um, he does have a bit of a like a somewhat malevolent looking grin. Is he speaking in lingua flotsam or... He is speaking in lingua flotsam. Okay. Uh, so it sounds like he has a bit of an imperial imperial accent. Ganzorg's watching from the crow's nest, like he, like he's interested in this react in this interaction. Um, uh, so, uh, sleeping beauty's finally woken up. Welcome to the crew. Uh, he's coming forward. Uh, he comes to shake your hand. Where's my sword? Uh, seems a little bit much. First day, you, your sword is safe. Don't you worry about your sword. A lot of good steel in that sword. And it's basically a backup anchor if we need one at this point. No, it's my temple. <laughs> your temple of course of course we all have our own prized possessions you definitely are taking up more than your cargo your fair share of the cargo space down in the hold uh, but don't worry your sword's aboard um, are you healed up yet uh, he kind of kicks out at your foot a little bit um, to give it a tap with his boot, with his boot. Uh, he might have a bit of a limp going forward <laughs> says Lita. Okay. Um, Who's also me, healer has been tending to him, so... Um, give, give me a fort save from Black Dog. I did this already, but okay. 23. Okay, uh, yeah, when he taps your leg, it hurts, but you don't 
need necessarily to portray pain and you sort of being he grits his at. he grits his teeth he's not good at hiding anything okay. he well. seems he seems tunnel visioned about his sword and he hasn't shaken his hand because he was told that he's like here against his like he's here against his will <laughs> Uh, what, what is this ship all about? Game. We are... Uh, we are members of... We are pirates of promise. We are members of the League of Harrigan. Has Black Dog ever heard of these people? Does he have any ranks in anything? No. No, no knowledge. Local, no knowledges. Tenant. Okay. Uh... <laughs> How about you be the bed? He said words. <laughs> Is that supposed to mean something? You're not familiar with the Dread Pirate Harrigan? No. Captain Dread Pirate. Mo Does he serve the White Wolf? No. I. <laughs> no. The Pirate Harrigan and the White Wolf are enemies. Okay, that seemed to, like... Like, he looked angry for a moment, and then he seemed to calm down at that. What are the terms of our service? Uh, you will... <sighs> you will... Work for the sh you will work for the ship and for the the wealth of all the men here. Uh, our mutual aid over the next several years will pay off the debt that you owe, and you will be free to go about your merry way. What debt? Well, we picked up your tab. He looks very displeased. <laughs> How is he? How is he? Oh, he was captured by those helping helping the, the villagers. <laughs> helping the villagers, <laughs> making snap judgment about who to serve. All right, he he seems a bit resigned, like he's thinking. Uh, he's gonna look around. Are other people armed? Uh, there are people who are armed. Um, it looks like there's a bit of a division in the arming, though. Yep. Um, there are, uh, basically pirates with many tattoos, um, that are working. They don't seem to be armed. Um, Karen and Lihita. They both look like they could give a mean knuckle sandwich, but they're not carrying anything bigger than, like, a knife. Yep. Um, and then there's uh, the pirates that are in sort of more traditional garb um, do have like falchions on their sides. I don't know. Or any... scimitars would be the. I don't know anything about sailing, but I can fight. Can you learn? Who does the morning exercises on the ship? We haven't had time for formal exercises. Hmm. A good warrior is always ready for battle. He... His eyes can't help but sort of scan the... The, the captain's largesse. Yep. I assume here is a good space for morning exercises. He's just pointing at, like... The, the deck space, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Are we expecting any fights today? We are pirates. We always expect to fight. Then why are half your crew unarmed? Well, we want to make certain they fight the right thing. <laughs> you understand. 
privileges are earned. Earn the privilege to your weapons and your possessions. And you play nice, you get the carrot. You play you play poorly, you get the stick. I uh, sort of motioning towards Brock. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't seem too concerned. That doesn't seem to work. <laughs> no. <laughs> I see. We will be much more effective with our weapons. With our armor. With our kits. Let me tell you what. Uh, I, Mr. Dog... Uh, you're, you take a couple of days, sort yourself out, see if you can't get that, uh, bum knee working again, and then we can talk. Don't worry, we got your temple, it's nice and safe. Two days then. Okay, Black Dog's just gonna... He doesn't bow to him. He takes a step back and then turns. Like, it's probably hard to break the you don't turn your back to superiors sort of thing. Um, and then he just starts work, like, calisthenics working out. <laughs> probably working his knee to figure out how fucked up it is. <laughs> yeah. uh, and he does, like, push-ups and sit-ups and handstands and, you know, like, fucking his morning routine. <laughs> He's got the quarter staff, so he'll use that as a weapon for now. Yep. Uh, Katas, basically. Uh, so his he is a Blood Rager, two Brawler, one Ninja, one Fighter, four Gestalt. So um, yeah, I'm sure there's all sorts of techniques that the the monks taught the Big Bruiser. Now you listen here, Biggin. Uh, Mister Potts is now talking to Hita. Oh, what me? <laughs> <laughs> It's a big spot, big stupid <laughs> grin on Lee's <laughs> head. He seems to be understanding things quite well. Hurry. Well, if, you, you, if, you made it quite clear. Two days. That seems if, reasonable. If you keep him behaving proper, we'll get you out of the out of shoveling uh, out of shoveling and bilge work and into brewing. Oh. <laughs> Cred's like, oh, we could use help. I. <laughs> Boss is giving a funny look to Cred. <laughs> if we're expecting fighting, I wouldn't mind my weapons back. Although I could make, it, I could turn anything into a weapon. <laughs> the 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 improvised <laughs> weapon thing. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, give me an oar. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he actually picks up and he goes, I can turn anything into a weapon. And he's like ready to throw it like it was a javelin. <laughs> he said something about Shinigami. <laughs> Shinigami! <laughs> uh, Gensorik, he's yelling about Shinigami and there's a guy doing like air squats <laughs> and like some weird lunge. Um, oh, looks like they're practicing. <laughs> he's... Oh, and I don't have my bow. <laughs> He'd be practicing with his bow. <laughs> just, just kind of sitting in the, pout, oh. pouting in the, uh, in the, in the mask. Uh, Lee Heat is going to go over and join uh, Black Dog with the oar uh, and basically have a workout. Okay. Uh, Karen continues. Black Dog 16 charisma, Lee Heat 8. So... He's happy to follow what the other half giant is doing. They're both from monastery cultures. He doesn't mind yep. getting a, a bit of a sweat on. Uh, Karen is going to finish passing out uh, the the daily or the uh, this particular ration of grog. Um, Jin sure, I don't think you're hurt anymore. We'll just take that damage off your token. Uh, give me a uh, so. Does Black Dog get upset when a big snake man tries to poke at his leg? Ah, uh, he... Does he remember the snake man playing doctor to him? Uh, give Has me he's... a... A int or wisdom check to see if you have any good memories of the <laughs> snake man. One. Horrible, One. horrible. <laughs> uh, you remember this... That... <laughs> 
you remember like a massive piercing pain in your hip area followed by this intense urge to vomit and you remember the snake man's face associated with it okay uh it probably takes lee he to calm black down <laughs> a little bit with the snake man's there <laughs> oh he's he's our he's our medic Thousand apologies. I'm here to learn your ways. Ugh. It's Black Dog giving a like wide-eyed, fearsome look at the, at the Snake Man, it's cocking his head slightly, tongue tongue flicking out. Oh, he's actually really uh, schooled in medicine. He's the one that helped, tried to help fix your leg. It was all sorts of fucked up. Yes. I am schooled in medicine, although I am not as familiar with legs for obvious reasons. It actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> How does a hip work again? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's also like third in command or something. He's like the bodyguard for the captain. When upon the stair, do as the two-legged. Black Dog, like, he's suspicious of the snake man. Um, he doesn't quite get the the metaphoric speak. Okay. Uh, he, he's trying to work. He's trying to work out the leg, the rest of the leg healing on his own. Like he doesn't okay. want the snake yeah. man touching him. So Black Dog. Um, currently, um, you've got your leg sort of, you understand how it moves. Mm -hmm. Um, although it is effectively crippled at this point. Um, is there a so speed penalty or? There's a minus 10 foot move speed penalty. Oh no, that's bad. Uh, in and then a minus four on acrobatics checks. Yeah. For jumping for the minus of the speed. Yeah, I got it. Uh, or is it acro all all, in all acrobatics okay. checks? You try to do a cartwheel. <laughs> uh, injury. All right. Tumbling cartwheels. He, did, he did have fast movement through uh, Blood Rager, so his his speed is thirty. But and I'll put the minus four on the injury. His speed is thirty, but he has a funny gait right now. <laughs> Okay. Black Dog is awake. The ship is happening. Gensorig is up in the crow's nest. Having a pout. Give me a perception check for Gensorig. This is perception. Should have gone up with the level. This perception is 13. Twenty-two. Twenty-two? Okay. Uh, Genzorig, you see in the distance, and I can actually do this via the map, because map tools is cool. It's cool like that. Uh, He's also pouting a little bit because he knows that he should... He should be able to bond with a horse, but there isn't a horse on the trip. <laughs> there's, there's no horses. <laughs> yeah, he, he's now fourth level ranger on the back end, so... Uh, okay. Uh, uh, a couple thousand feet away. So, the, hundreds, of, hundreds of yards away. Um, Sorry, it's not his horse that gives it to him. It's his animal domain through Inquisitor. <laughs> Same, same. Deal. It's the same idea. Yeah. You see some large birds circling something. Uh, you don't see the something that they're circling, but at this distance, you do see these these big birds in the air. Uh, they are uh, swooping at at something. Who, who's uh, on deck right now? Uh... It's it's currently what you see here. Uh, it's it's this layer. Okay. Um, Corinne is actually below deck. Whoa. Um, hey, Potts. 
there's a weird monkey who 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 is who did step out, um, who's taking a piss off the side of the boat. Um. <laughs> Birds are swooping at something over there. Hey, pots. Birds are swooping. What? What kind of birds? Let's see. Genzarig has knowledge nature. He has monster lore. Eleven. Eleven. Big ones. <laughs> They're big ones, about the size of cows. They're vulture-looking things. Okay. Um. Vulture-looking things. Oh, it's got to be something out there. Um, yeah, maybe something's dead and they're eating it. Or maybe something's not dead yet. Go that way. We he, got doesn't, room. he doesn't have all the no profession <laughs> sailor. He's just pointing to go that way. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're currently actually traveling north on this map. You have to yeah. uh, like uh, convince the boat to, to adjust its course. Um, there's some shouting of commands. Um and uh yep you're able to convince the like yeah they're interested in in what is happening um if you get me a bow i can shoot the birds <laughs> some arrows too you fucking dummies <laughs> <laughs> that part wasn't yelled but <laughs> uh, it gets guys are all excited but g- give me a charisma check okay oh does ganzerg have an eight yeah, he's got an eight he's he's kind of moody and mutters his word 15 okay uh, that you do hear fetch uh, you, you hear pots telling grok to go fetch the bow okay uh sun Wu is going to follow pot or sorry grok to see okay. where all shit's being <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, mr pots hands grok a key okay um we're gonna do a stealth to do this like Sneaky, not sneaky. obviously he's not <laughs> obviously following like tripping on his heels he's uh 19 on the stealth 19 on the stealth okay um yeah you're 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 moving around the ship you're being kind of strange um there, it, one, one of the uh the tattooed pirates says something about you know does monkey be bird he's making some sort of comment about either martial arts styles or something <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just gets a little chuckle out of Sun Wu. Um, he's got his tail okay. kind of tucked in his hands. He's he's being all small. Okay, uh, trying to be unassuming. Yeah, Black Dog sees a monkey following the orc. He doesn't know anything about anything. I don't know if he cares. Well, the Snake Man is probably the weirdest thing <laughs> that he's seen on the boat. <laughs> the the Venarin, I'm assuming, like people know that there are. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not a okay. Yeah, they they are, they're not a common race where where you were black dog, but they're not the they're by no means the strangest race you would have seen. I think black dog stopped working out at this point in time. Him and Lihita, with armed with a staff and an oar, are. I don't know if there's a way to get to the front of the boat. I'm confused about this map. Like, is there a? Uh, there should be a. Uh... There's a room at the front. It looks like. So, I think. It's very strange. Uh, I, think I, I, th- I think there's a forecastle. Uh, I think there's another okay. layer here that's missing. Yeah, um, the, the roof they, of this. Uh, yeah, there should be a roof of this and the roof of this. That is, okay, so that we're is. there. I want to move up to the front to like have a look. And, and I might I might take a note to go to the module and see if there's actually a map that I missed because there should also be like the wheel. <laughs> the wheel should be up here. <laughs> like the. <laughs> the ship, the ship's wheel. Yeah. How do they turn? They yell when it turns. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Sun Wu, you're following Grok. I will roll a perception check for Grok because he's the only one who cares. He might be being followed. Okay. Um, if he notices, he doesn't say anything. Okay. Okay, and you make your way down. And you make your way down again. And there is a couple of pirates that are down here doing piratey work. Um, you know, sorting through stuff, setting cannonballs and these sorts of things. Um, yeah, someone who I think is going to stop hiding. Like, he's going to hide along the stairs. And he's just going to watch where, where Grok's going. 
Okay. Um, give me a. Uh... So Grok takes the key. He touches three points on the door. Ooh. Then unlocks the door. And then takes out another key that he had and unlocks a second lock. And then opens the door, and steps through, and closes it behind him. Okay. Uh, did, Sunwoo, did Sunwoo see the three spots where he touched? Uh, give me a... Well, yeah, you effectively saw them. You, you okay. think you know them correctly. You think you can touch them again. <laughs> so who's going to sneak around the backside of the... Uh, I don't know which way the... Uh, the stairs look like you go into here. So he's going to sneak around the backside of the stairs to try to hide. Yep. Uh, or re-hide. Um, hoping that Grok doesn't relock everything when he goes. Like, there's a chance that he might be in a rush. 25 on the stealth. Okay. Uh, okay. Grok is... There's some noises. The ship sort of sways back and forth. Uh, you can feel it turning, so it actually it's swaying very heavily towards... It's listing to one side, if we're using the, the shippy words. <laughs> um, uh, Grok is coming out. Uh, I'm going to roll for how hurriedly Grok leaves. Okay. Uh, Grok comes out. He's got... Um, uh, he's got a bow... He's got two bows and several stacks of arrows. Um, two bows, two quivers of arrows. Um, he uh, closes the door, um, and you see him... Um, you don't see him putting the second key back in. Right? He does, like, he basically closes the door and, and is moving. He used one key, though. He Yeah. He, well, he used two keys to close, like, lock the door. Yeah. Uh, when he closes the door, he didn't actually touch it with any keys. He just oh, okay, it. good, all right. Yeah. Ooh, my, my, my. <laughs> to himself. <laughs> and, Hand over his mouth. When... He's he he's sort of coming up at that. At one point, he stops and actually grabs a like a uh, like a rifle a a, a a rifle a black powder rifle, um, and is running back upstairs to go hunting the veterans. Okay, he's on his way back up with gear. Okay, Sunwoo is going to um, Sunwoo is going to cast Ghost Sound. Okay. Uh, climbing up to the edge of the like he could climb. He's going to climb speed. So climbing up to the edge of the, of the staircase, uh, he's going to. Um, oh, what's a distracting sound? <laughs> There's going to be the sound of a uh, of like the clinking of china and like the popping of corks and like a little party going on upstairs. <laughs> okay, uh, what is the uh, DC to recognize it's a fake sound? Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. You hear that? Oh, they have a party wow us. <laughs> We're supposed to be sorting. I they're going with us. We better, you know, get in there on it. Uh, there's this little half-assed conversation. And they start, you know, hearing me. Yeah, upstairs is a similar conversation of like. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Once they're up the stairs, we're making a dash for the door. Um, a, a stealthy dash if they're still okay. able to see him. But uh... okay. Uh, uh, basically, as they uh, come around the stairs this way, the chance of them seeing you is pretty low. Um, okay, you make your way to that door. Touch the same three things. Okay. Uh, give me a disable device or a um, perception check to um, to. To mimic the touching. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no, <Samu. laughs> All right. Uh, K. 
Okay. Um, give me a reflex save. All right. Any particular effect? Um, no, I don't have any conditionals. I don't uh, think if, uh, if you had a conditional there. All right, we're we're decent at this. <laughs> Ooh. Twenty-six. Okay, uh, there's this little, there's this weird green light um, that basically glows, and you sort of hop around it as it looked like it was trying to encase you, and you hear a faint. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, 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 getting the, we're getting the hell out of here. We know where it is. Um, we have not had a chance to recover our, like, extracts and things like that. Like, he, like we don't have our alchemy kits. Uh, no, you don't have your alchemy kits. Um, although, uh, you've been working on cartography, I believe. Um, uh, give me a... Uh, do you have survival or any of those sort of skills? Or craft alchemy? Well, oh, craft alchemy is through the roof. Alright. Not 20. 36. 36? Uh, okay, so you have um, scraped together enough materials to make... I'm going to roll a d6. Six. Six extracts. Or okay. six levels worth of extracts. Um, so you can craft... and, But I don't have access to my formula book. You don't have access to your formula book. Um, you do... You could also make mutagens. Okay, cool. Um, I think at this point, um, Sun Wu's gonna... You could also use them for bombs. Cool. Like those are that, like... that, that's good to know. He's gonna stealth back to hear... Until somebody, um, yeah, he's he's gonna climb along the boxes until he sees somebody. He's gonna like stealth. Okay. Um, at, first, at first, he moves like very quickly. I don't know how many moves before people come down the stairs. Okay. Uh, so the um, they were, that all blasted. There's a okay. uh, two rounds before people come down the stairs. Okay. So we're um, we're rehiding towards the back of the stairs again. Okay. They're, these two these two pirates are. Like there was no party. Oh, some drops, trickery. <laughs> Don't tell <them> nothing. <laughs> it's a door closed. Um, okay. Uh, up top, Grok has a rifle. He's got two bows. He's got two quivers of arrows. He's got a um, uh, a bag of of uh, a horn of gunpowder and a bag of of bullets. Um, Ganzorig, he is carrying two bows. Um. There were four bows down there on a four. It's your bow, mm -hmm. and then their other bows are the other two D four. No, one of them is your bow. Mm -hmm. He got a big honking bow, and then he got a decent looking short bow. Well, that's the one. He's still up in. He's still up in the crow's <laughs> nest. He's not coming down for that. <laughs> I don't know if there's a rope or something like a little bucket or how do, how do you bring things back and forth? Oh, uh, like... there, there's a bucket that you'd use to, yeah, to okay. bring up your rations and your food. Yeah, that, that's um, that's being low. That's been lowered down. He's just shaking the line. Okay, uh, we're gonna fuck up, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, at this point, there's a um, alarm. Like there's a uh, there's this dinging. Yep. Um, uh, the dinging is very clear. Mr. Potts uh, hears the dinging. The croc hears the dinging. It appears it sounds like the dinging is coming from Grok's pocket. Um, ah! uh, Grok is running running down the stairs. Um, they, they, this, this, he just sort of dumps the stuff in the bucket. The bucket currently has a rifle and sling bullet, <laughs> rifle and bullets and black powder. Yep. Two bows and two quivers of arrows. Uh, Mr. Potts and Grok are making their way down. Um, Sun is going up the stairs and hiding amongst the uh, amongst the stuff. Okay, uh, there's a you two with me. Uh, calling for a couple of pirates to, to also flank. Um, and there's a, there's a, a harsh word in Flotsam uh, in Mulgrimir's direction um, around keeping 
make sure everyone's staying in control. Uh, okay, they, they end up rushing down the stairs. Uh, give me your stealth check for Sneaky Monkey. 26. 26? Okay. There's only one person who can break that. He doesn't. Um, okay, they... Yeah, Once they disappear down. downstairs, he's whipping he's whipping upstairs if no one's in this room and, and going to the going to the top deck. And then he'll just slowly make his way back over to where to where the where he's supposed to be. Maybe. Hey, you get a you get a funny look from Grimsby on the way by. Yep. Um who's just <laughs> he's just sort of a drug from uh... just, just, <laughs> He's just standing there, he's got a just a, a stern look. He he gives you kind of a, a glance. You suspect he might have he might have seen what happened. Oh, the uh, Are the birds dead yet? <laughs> we'll see how we'll see how good the archer is. He's he's a coonie. He's probably pretty good with that. They're born with slingshots in their hands, or so I hear. The coonian, do you wish for the drums of war? Oh, if if that's what you need there, dwarf. <laughs> Ginzurg's not too friendly to the to the death dwarf because he's seen him palling around with the orc. Yep. <clears throat> Don't slip and fall. Or do. <laughs> this is like a a stupid face from Ginzurg. <laughs> As he's, Kate, as he's hauling up this bucket to get his bow and bucket. arrows. <laughs> Katie, um, <laughs> let these Kate. arrows ring true so that those foul birds cease to, uh, well, befoul your, your graceful sea air. And Kate, then you uh, may return to, to playful to playful acts with the Lord of Water. <laughs> Fuck yeah, get him! <laughs> Uh, Karen is shouting that there's something happening. You see his head poking out from here. Uh, get him! <laughs> Something's happening! <laughs> uh, Does Ganzorg have his holy symbol? Uh, Ganzorg? Like, can he cast his uh, divine spells? You are a first circle caster. Um, what is the holy symbol of, uh... The holy symbols of Akadi. What, what does it look like? Oh, um... Uh, <laughs> nope, that is the restaurant of Akadi, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> The symbol is a white cloud on a blue background, so it's probably a wooden or bone carved uh, cloud. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is a innocuous enough holy symbol that you could have had that on you. That okay. Uh, how many rounds until we're in a recent uh, in a decent uh, range increment? Uh, to get the boat into the correct position, including turning, uh, it is two minutes. Okay. Uh, if you include them getting you, like, part of that was him going and collecting the arrows. So you're, you'd be 400 feet away after three minutes. Yeah, we're waiting until we close some distance to cast spells because a lot of them are either minutes per level at low levels or uh, round per levels. But the spells that we want to put up include Gravity Bow, Divine Favor. Okay. Uh, as you're getting closer, and I'm just going to drag the encounter closer to the boat, because that's how this map ends up working. You're about 400 feet out currently. Um, you're now, uh, you're not, actually I will place this in a way that makes full sense. You are not coming straight at the birds, but you're kind of coming to strafe them, as a battleship would. Yep. Uh, and you can see at this distance from your from your high peak, they are basically taking swipes and picking at two men on a raft. Oh, there's some, there's some, there's some flotsam, flotsam <laughs> in the water. Two guys in a two guys in a dinghy. <laughs> D 
you know those guys? <laughs> He's from the plains. He doesn't have any, he doesn't have any concept of how big the world is. You, this. you both people don't know hey, each other. Hey, we might know those guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, currently, there's nobody. All command is now downstairs. Currently. All right. Well, we'll take a we'll take a test left, shot. Left, how how, how fast are we moving uh, per round? Uh, you are currently moving at. 50 feet per round so oh, sorry okay. 50 50 feet per move so 100 feet per round all right so we're gonna be yeah okay we'll take we'll take a test shot at the closest bird which is about 300 feet away okay um and i think both spells being running is appropriate i'm just gonna go like this because we're gonna end up needing it I'm assuming that we are plus one from above. Uh, are you shooting at the birds that are like the bird that is currently close to the boat? Or are you shooting at the birds that are circling above? Circling. Okay, then you're not plus one from above. The boat's okay. not. Yeah. The, the crow's nest is not higher than where the, the bird, the bird is? Yeah, no. The, at, at best would be on par. Okay. Over this range, it's not really above. Third range increment is minus four. All right, we're going to aim. Okay. Uh, you have 20 arrows. Good to know. Oh, 21. <laughs> he gave you an arrow previously. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> you also have a rifle and 10... And is like... there war drumming or not? Uh, yes. Uh, Grimsby is thumping a drum for you. Nothing for a plus one bard song? Plus one bard song. Yep. Okay. So that's plus 12, plus two for aim, minus four for distance. First arrow is AC 13. Uh, you stick it in its feathers. Um, it doesn't do... It, it's flat-footed to you. It doesn't do damage. Um, it knows something attacked it. Well, it was just a practice shot. <laughs> I at least hit it. Yeah, yeah, no, oh, you they're, hit really, it. they're really tough birds, Katie. <laughs> All the better to, for, for me to... Um, uh, I think at this point in time, we're going to put up a judgment. I, I think well, now it's like, a, like an initiative, but it's really like your it, side, their side. Yeah, judgment's swift. Uh, oh, okay, that's yeah. fine. We can roll initiative. Um, yeah. Our side goes at six. Okay, and their side goes at ten. You may want to slow the boat down. <laughs> slow it down. <laughs> We're gonna go right past it. Okay, the um uh first the so their side, um several of the birds are beginning to flap generally in your direction. Um, as they're squawking uh, one bird is attacking the people on the boat it actually lands and is picking at some old man it looks like he's trying to pick up the old guy uh, dems are dems are ugly birds <laughs> there, there's there, there's a, a younger man on this on this um, uh, on this raft who's hacking at the, the the sword's beak and trying to protect the the older gentleman um, it's not going fantastically uh your boat then moves yeah <laughs> <laughs> those birds are back <laughs> uh then it's the turn of the people on the boat uh grimsby maintains his bard song okay um sea vulture we're now in second range increment much more reasonable so i think i'm gonna rapid shot the nearest bird this would be at plus 12. Now, if I aim it, it applies to both rapid shots? That's interesting. Uh, does aim apply to one two or fighting? two of them fighting? I think it's the next shot by default because okay. that's okay. what aid would do. <clears throat> yep. We could, we could address that later, though. Because, like, the mythic rapid shot where you could fire three arrows is, you know, 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then we swift action judgment for um, attack because we're having a hard time hitting. Okay. AC 24 and AC 28. <laughs> okay, you two arrows blast into this 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 mighty bird. Um, uh, they both strike. No DR or anything like that? They are big, ugly birds. Okay, four, four, 14 damage and 11 damage. Okay, uh, it was on the closest one? Yeah, number one? this one. Oh, the south one? Okay. Yep. 14 and 11 brings it to 25. Um, it's still in the air. Um, it needs to make two fly checks. Uh, oh, what is the DC for? Is it DC 5 to not lose altitude or is it DC 15? A 15, I believe. Okay, so it loses some altitude as you you It, you it could be 10. Let me, let me double check. Uh, uh, it is a DC 10 fly check to avoid losing 10 feet of altitude when you take damage while you're flying. Okay, so uh, did not fail by five or more, did fail. So this one loses some altitude um, as it got blasted with arrows. Uh, it is hurt, um, it is bloodied. Um, okay, we will. We aimed, we fired. I only applied the bonus. You swifted, you aimed, you fired. Yep. Uh, I will fire the second attack at the same bird. Okay. Um, this is minus five, minus two, not plus two. Is it, did it losing altitude bring me lower? Sure, plus okay. one. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Easy <laughs> 12. No. Uh, so it's uh, this time it, it was able to swerve the, <clears throat> swerve the arrow. Um, it, Slow the boat down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Not knowing how the boat works. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're yelling, slow the boat down. Um, Grimsby is going to, like, give commands to drop the main sail. Um, he's, so the, 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 peop the people on the boat are now doing the action to slow the boat it will take a bit to get the boat to slow. It's, it won't be immediate. Uh, the birds. Lee, uh, Lee's going to enter Shikigami style. Okay. Shikigami! He's got his oar in his hands. <laughs> when he hucks the oar, I think the oar has a range of 20 feet for him. Uh, and I'm guessing an oar does D6. So in his a D6 or a D8, uh, is it a long or, or is it a, like, is it an or from? You just muted yourself. Stupid. Uh, <laughs> is it from a lifeboat or a, a small raft or, or is it one of the big oars that's used to actually manually propel the boat? Uh, it, it likely is one of the smaller ones otherwise. You... Okay. So that would be a D6. Okay. It, 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 like you have a long spear sized oar if you want it. <laughs> that's meant for like, uh, manually propelling the boat. Uh, you grab one of the smaller ones, but in Shikigami style, uh, it increases the size, so it, it'll actually do effectively. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Well, it's still too far for hucking. Um, oh, Hundred feet is just within range, but at a minus <laughs> eight. <laughs> His attack bonus. Does Lee have his um, his kit, or is he also not kitted out? Uh, what aspects of Lee's kit? Uh, I'm looking for the alchemist kit. Uh, so he, he's, he's an alchemist. Um, Lee is Lee's alchemist kit is missing. Okay. Lee has been spending time in with fish guts in brewing and prepping food. Yep. Um, so you have had easy access to materials. Um. So, it would be, you have a better opportunity. You, you have eight potential bombs or mutagens or those sorts of features. Okay, he, he, will, he will drink his mutagen that he's prepared, I think, is the... 
the right thing to do. It's my right special thing. brew. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Black Dog notices that because I think Black Dog can also produce mutagens as a mutagenic brawler. Was that your go juice? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> he clearly has not had a chance to uh, have his alchemy kit <laughs> yep 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 okay uh and Cran is going to make his way out from uh below decks to, to sort of see what's going on um and then i think he also i can't remember his build uh i think I think he's also yeah he's <laughs> Corinne is gonna drink his special beer too <laughs> uh, what is the range of a heavy crossbow uh i think a heavy crossbow is 120 but i'll double check it is 120 yeah it's longer than a yes and nobody needs to think about historical uses of these things because when they made the game they didn't <laughs> Uh, okay, Jin's got his crossbow in hand. He's moved up. Yep, Jin, um, Jin has his gear. Grimsby has his gear. Mulgamir has his gear. Does anyone have... Okay, he's too, too high up. Jin could climb up there. He doesn't have a client... No, he doesn't have a client speed big fast snake that can swim That's he's got swim cool. speed swim very swim very, speed's useful very terrifying who's got them uh, aside from the bow who's using the other bow or the rifle well currently Gadzorg has the ball in his bucket that he pulled to the top because oh all of it got put into the yeah, all of it got put in the bucket grok, mm. grok dumped the stuff in the bucket and ran downstairs because there was a there was a intruder alert from the treasure hole <laughs> okay eat he doesn't think the birds are actually going to attack the boat. So Jin's just going to... Um... Ah, it's first range increment. He's going to take a, a shot at the vulture that uh, Ganzorg is pegging off. Uh, it's just a regular ass. His dex isn't that great. There is a bard song running. It's not masterwork. There's a size penalty. He doesn't have full bath. Not 20. <laughs> 18 uh, to confirm. Uh, that confirms. Standard damage and a major condition for three rounds. All right. The crossbow is large, so it does 4d8 damage. D10s become 2d8. That's, that's good damage, yep. Yeah. Pudrong! 19 damage. Pudrong! And uh, the, I don't know if we need to worry about the major condition or not. Uh, 19 becomes 44. Uh, I think you do need to worry about the major condition. Well, he's no! It, no, the bird is falling out of the sky. <laughs> Good shot, Snake Man! I think that was a lucky shot given the attack <laughs> bonus, but he does have a Hey weirdo snake guy! You did a good one! <laughs> <laughs> There's like a, a a bowing nod from the snake man. Are you gonna let the snake guy do you like that, Kazorig? Get out there and show him what a Katie can do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's Karen. Oh, yeah. I, I softened it up. <laughs> <laughs> I showed him where to aim. Yeah, shit. barely through the fucking eye. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, these two birds are double flying, and they've got. They're looking at Gansorig. This bird is fighting with the people on the boat. Kanzorig, your boat's going this way. Yep. So they're all going that away. 
these two birds are going to try to pick you out of the crow's nest, <laughs> take oh, no. you for a ride. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, so uh, first, I'm going to unfog some space. Uh, the boat is moving 100 feet this round. Next round, it'll move 50, and the round after that, it'll move 25. Uh, so first, these two are going. Everything here is going uh, that way. Oh. So there was a ready to attack, and then the next attack actually ends up with that bird in a position that's actually by Gensorg. Um. Okay. Birds. Gensorg without armor. Awesome. <laughs> 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 Fucking captain and stupid rules. <laughs> stupid captain. Uh, all right. Uh, you do have cover from your crow's nest. Um, Excellent. All right. Uh, he's, he's got a good dex, so AC okay. nineteen with the cover. Uh, they're not like flanking or anything because you're just sort of zooping past. Yep. Uh, I'm just going to double check their feats because animals do get feats. What are your feats? Fortitude and toughness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So they're going to try to basically get you. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> one miss and then one oh god <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh, alright so there's a well, you, you dodge away from one as you sort of fall back in your crow's nest the other one is snipping at you um, it looks like it's grabbing you by the collarbone that's a crit How many hit points you got? <laughs> Full hit points, Genzorig, is 48. Ah, it's fine. We're just going to kick the shit out of you. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh... I, I, give me one moment. I'm going to look at my spells. Uh, fucking birds. Windy. Oh, I, I forgot to apply gravity bow damage, but you know, it's. What does 2d6 become when it gets bigger? Uh, 2d6 becomes 2d8. The greedy. <laughs> no, I don't think I have any ways to get out of this. Uh, I don't have windy escape or anything. Um, and uh, the weird determination powers are. I could give myself a plus four insight bonus to AC, but I don't think that. Those numbers. Close enough. Good. Yep. Nope. We're we're tagged. Okay. This giant bird is snapping at Ganzorig. Well, Panache, Daring Do, uh, Dodging Panache, um, one point dodge bonus equal to Wisdom mod. So, dodge bonus is stack. Interesting. So if I gave myself a plus four, I'd have a 23, and then if I gave myself another plus four, that would be 27, which is what it rolled to confirm. So I could almost stack two powers to get out of this, but no. <laughs> All right, I, I'm getting it. Do your worst. 46 damage. Oh, God, I got two hours left. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, it's, my, that's my face. <laughs> it's, it's, it's got you across the collarbone. It's tearing at your neck. Um it's it's trying to pull you out of the it's trying to pull you out of this um, the crow's nest it doesn't actually have grab um, it's trying to sort of do it the old fashioned way uh, it also has a dirty mouth so I need a fortitude save fortitude save yep archer not supposed to be a melee that <laughs> <Not> one <laughs> so, something for Kid. the something for the healers to do something for the healers to do when you get the I have filth fever or something uh you you have a disease okay. uh yeah you've got you've got filth dirty fever. dirty bird disease. <laughs> uh Oh, he's well, in the he's in a fight for his life at this point. But. Sorry, uh, it's actually we the, the it, just say dirty bird disease because yeah. it's actually it's a it's a random disease. We pick a <laughs> oh, God. Uh, fucking bubonic bird. <laughs> <laughs> a bubonic bird. Uh, 
robotic seabirds. Uh, all right, uh, Ganzorig is being mauled. Hey, you let him go, you big chicken! Uh, okay, uh, Corinne is going to basically try to fast climb up the fucking... Like, he's going to rage and fast climb his way up to the... Um, up to the top of the crow's nest. Yep. Um, um, he's hopping in. Uh, I'm going to roll a D2 to see if he has... Um, on a, a, on the 50-50, on the 2, as he's climbing, he had cover. Uh, on a 1, just the fastest route to climb, which is what he cares about, didn't have cover. Okay. Okay, so uh, the, AOO. there's Bird will take its AOO. Um, the uh, AC 13 against Karen, who is climbing no decks and he probably doesn't have his armor, so he does... I think that's a hit. Uh, he does have a mutagen running, so it's not he does have natural armor. Um, but uh, but 12 yeah, no. probably not good yeah. enough. 12, no, all right, so he gets clipped by the bird. Uh, uh, 15 damage. Uh, he... It's a fucking bird! It's <laughs> not <laughs> double 60 damage. <laughs> oh, watch out! It's good! It's, it bites really hard. KFC. Uh, Adam might have been looking at uh, C uh, encounters. <laughs> oh, like a prehistoric looking vulture thing. Uh... So uh, it snips at Karen. Karen will use a reaction to absorb. Oh, hold on. I'm going to... Um, yell out a warning to Karen. Okay. Oh, uh, no. It rolled a four. Uh, this it, this would make it do a re-roll. I don't want to do that. That's <laughs> nope, we're good. We're Never good mind. with just okay. face taking some yep. fucking damage. Yep. Uh, all right, uh, and at the top, uh, Karen is going to. Uh, I think he's going to. Brawler's fury, beat the shit out of the bird with a, with his mug, because it's not a weapon. <laughs> like it's, it doesn't, it does, it passes the not a weapon check. Uh, so we are raging. Um, Raging, punching, bard song. Uh, so that is plus fifteen, uh, plus sixteen, uh, power attack, plus fourteen. Uh, so two number twenty plus bard song. Fourteen. Yeah. Uh, bard song is in there. Um, oh, sorry, plus twelve with the uh, two weapon fighting, or the the brawler's flurry where you get to attack twice. Just crits for days. <laughs> Everybody's teeth are missing. <laughs> uh, okay, there's a there's another crit. Uh, this is with bludgeoning damage. Uh, target is pushed twenty six squares directly away. So the bow will work. So oh, I've got uh, cover, so it's it'll also still work. But it would also still work. It's all right. Uh, okay, so we're we're beating the bird. Um, uh, the damage from the the beating one d six, so it's three d six plus uh, fifteen or five nine ten uh, ten becomes thirty. Power attack is plus four, so plus four becomes plus twelve. And then Bard Song becomes plus three. Kersh, kersh. <laughs> Two slams. Oh, oh, oh. This vulture is is knocked unconscious and comes crashing down. <laughs> like caught deck. up in the, crashing down on the deck, it's caught up in the sail below. Uh that's currently being um being let loose and, and falling. Um Ooh. You're not looking good there, <laughs> Kenzoring. No, f fuck these birds. Is it Gensorg's <laughs> turn? <laughs> no, it is Gensorg's turn, yeah. Okay, um, we're going to rapid shot the sea vulture. Ooh. 
Oh, foul things in the Katie skies. Fuck you. They bite like bastards, too. Oh, you don't say yeah, my face has been torn off. It's not a mask. Oh, it's not. Oh, you, oh okay, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I can think I see your tooth, okay. see your tooth through we your cheek. We're within the first range increment, so no penalty, but we are rapid shotting. And the Bard Song, Divine Favor, Judgment, My Weapon, Dex, Bab. I'm just going to double check. I don't have. Weapon focus yet? No. Okay. Uh, AC 26, AC 14. Uh, AC 26 hits. So 2d8 plus 5 for 14 damage. Okay. okay. That was my first attack. It will make its fly check. It does make its fly check. It doesn't like lose altitude from that. We're going to cast a second level spell um, through my animal domain. I have a spell called Hold Animal. <laughs> uh. The will save of the spell is 16. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, it is paralyzed. And cannot take any actions, even speech. I can't even remember if... Hold, I don't think whole person has the... or whole, like I don't think that has the modifier for if in a dangerous position you get a plus four. Even with that, even if that rule did apply to this, it doesn't. Um, I think it's Dominate that has that one. Yeah, it's a full round uh, action in order to get another will save. Well... Winged creatures who are paralyzed cannot flap its wings and fall. Huh. Fuck these birds. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Lihita, Black Dog. Um, yeah, I think uh, we're gonna. Jim Speed's maintaining his drumming. Uh, let me check Jinshu. Lihita's. Um, uh, Jinshu is reloading the crossbow, which is a full round action. Okay. Uh, uh, while you do that, give me one second at the yep. ladder. All right, Lihita's movement. Is 30. Let's see, I don't know how high up it is. As she's falling. Assuming no height distance, that's second ranger commit. So minus two. All right, I'm back. How high up? So um, Jinshu's double, um, uh, full round action reloading the heavy crossbow. Mm -hmm. Nihita moved twice. How high up is the falling vulture at this point? Uh, the vulture hasn't actually had the action to fall yet. Mm -hmm. So the, the vulture would be 30 feet above you. Okay, how much would that add to the distance away then? I'm 30 feet um, from it. Uh, uh, Pythagoras makes that like 42 feet. Okay, I think. so... We'll say 40 feet, because I know what your range increment is. <laughs> Second range increment minus two. Okay, so Lee Hida is Shikigami-style hucking the ore as it was a thrown <laughs> weapon. <laughs> this is funny. Um, the fuck is that guy doing? <laughs> the attack... Oh, Bard Song. I'm like, what am I missing in here? Why does it feel really low? 
Okay, so we are BAB2 strength 8, range minus 2, minus 1 for power attack, mutagen plus 2, bard song plus 1, which brings us to a plus 10. AC 14 against the paralyzed bird. Sorry, the paralyzed, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, secure, you secure the paralyzed bird with a paddle. I believe this is blunt damage, so it's, it's like, gook. <laughs> yeah, <There's boop>. a gook. <laughs> For 20 damage. Okay, uh, that is... He turned, he, he turned the paddle into 20 damage through the air. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty that, good. That's pretty cool, guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so who is giggling? Katie blessed his paddle with the Shinigami or something. Shinigami! Yeah, Shinigami! laugh. It hurts to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best day in a long time. Uh, <clears throat> Black Dog is pointing at the the boat that's still being attacked. Uh, okay. He doesn't have any ranged. Well, he doesn't have any weapons. He's not a ranged guy. Uh, let me see if he does have. He doesn't have spells yet. <laughs> he's got his quarterstaff. He's pointing. Okay. Uh, the vultures. Um, this vulture falls. Uh, it's going to fall, and we're going to roll a d two. Does it clock its head against the deck? That does it clock its head against the boat. Is on a one. Okay. Dow. Uh, so it misses the deck. Uh, it does take non-lethal from falling from the sky. I think they're uh, D3s into water at a certain height. It's, it's D3 non-lethal. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you can roll... 4D3 or something? 5D3. 5D3. 10 non-lethal. Okay. Uh... It's going to be very interesting when it... So it doesn't get to make a saving throw against the paralysis because it's actually... Well, it, it can't take a full round action because it's staggered because it's at zero. <laughs> and it's in the water. So I'm just going to do this. It is going to drown from this as it splooshes into the water. Uh, this vulture uh, is falling. The boat is going this way. It's caught up in the sails. There's a big mess. Um, I'm gonna roll a d4 uh, on a on a one. It's actually like it's bowling into this pirate just from the way the the, the <laughs> directions are going. Okay, no, it ends up falling, getting itself tangled in the sails, and like thuds off the off the deck. It is dead. This vulture is nipping at the pirate. And the old man on the on the raft. Uh oh. <laughs> no. Somebody's getting hit. <laughs> okay. The younger looking man has been incapacitated. Um and the the vulture is 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 picking at the body. Um, there's currently a tug of war between the vulture and the older man on this on this raft at sea. Uh, okay, and then your boat moves, so everything goes fifty feet. And this goes fifty feet, and that one's on the boat. Dog's <laughs> wildly pointing. Snake man, make the boat turn. <laughs> Let's see if the doom 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 dead or sails doom 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 A thousand apologies. This is not my job. <laughs> I do not know how to how to work the boat. <laughs> ah Make the boat go over <laughs> Adam yeah. is actually going to check. I think it might be Le port. Left is port. Uh, the port. Yeah, no, I, I, was, I said 